Hey guys, it is Pat, and today we're going to work upper body. So if you have a hand weight, grab a hand weight, but you don't need any weights at all to do this exercise. I'm going to, have to, I'm going to show you how to do it with a weight and without a weight. So first we're going to start without a weight. Um, so let's go ahead and get busy. Back up here so you can see me. Okay, so I'm going to turn to the side so that you get a side view of this. And all you're going to do is you're going to take your arms and place them side by side, okay? Now you want your elbows to touch, all right? Because that's going to let you know how high up you need to go and how far back you pull back down. So your elbows are touching, standing up nice and tall. Make sure your abs are drawn into your lower back. Slight bend in those knees, don't block them out. I want you to buckle and fall forward. Forearms glued together. Make sure your elbows are touching. That may be hard depending upon how endowed you are, so make sure you pick your arms up high enough that you can close them together. And all you're gonna do is slide up and pull back down. And in the process of sliding up and pulling back down, I want you to squeeze those pectoral muscles and squeeze those arms together. They're gonna try and come apart. So lift up and right back down. Lift and right back down. Good. Now on this particular move, we're not going to count repetitions, okay? All we're going to do is go for a minute and pull them right back down. Now it's really hard to get those elbows closed together. It's easy to do when they're down. As you lift, they want to come apart. So it's going to force you to squeeze, and you're going to feel this in your arms, okay? So you lift and pull back down. I want you to set a timer, and I want you to do one minute, and then take a break. Shake those arms out. Maybe do a couple of circles and take it back. Open up that chest, pushing forward, and then close it and cross those arms over so that you open up through those shoulder blades in the back. That would be your stretch. Go right back into it, another minute. Take those stretches. Now when you're stretching, do no more than 30 to 45 seconds, and then go right back into a third set. So we're going to do three minutes of that move, squeezing that chest together, keeping those elbows pressed together, keeping those hands together, taking it straight up, and right back down, making sure your abs are contracted. And that's it for your move today. So it's something totally different. In fact, I had never even done it before until here recently, and you can really feel it through your chest. Now, if you're using a hand weight, you can add a little bit of resistance. But if it's a brand new move to you, then I want you to do it without a weight until you get proper form and alignment, and then move into that hand weight. So all we're going to do is I'm going to wrap my thumbs around this weight and then close my hands so it's a closed grip over that weight. And again, elbows are glued together. I have a 90 degree angle, okay? And we're going to lift and pull right back down, still squeezing that chest together. And notice I'm not straightening my arms out because if you straighten them out, those elbows are going to come apart. And the whole goal here is to keep the elbows drawn in close together so that the chest stays contracted. So lift, pull right back down. Lift, squeezing that chest and pull back down. So it's the same thing that you're doing. Good. Keeping that chin nice and lifted off that chest. Abs are contracted, glutes are tight. And that's all you do. So it's the same movement with the weight or without. If you're using a weight, I suggest that you use a light hand weight. And actually, to be quite honest with you, I felt it more without the weight than I did with. Because when you have something in your hands, it's automatically going to push those elbows open. So you want to make sure that you're able to close all the way down with that weight and then push up and lower down. Same stretches after that. Do your three sets, one minute a piece, 30 to 45 second break in between to make sure you're stretching. And go back into it again. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.